everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley and today we're gonna to be playing with a bunch of new makeup that has come into my life over the past, I would say four to six weeks. Some of these are things that you have seen in my makeup rehab series, some things you have not, but none of them have I used on camera with you before, so I thought it would be really fun to sit down and play with just a bunch of new stuff. It's rainy outside, so I have nowhere to go, but I still think it would be fun, and honestly, I've had a really wild week, so I thought we would talk all about it and just play with makeup because you know what? That is what friends do. So I have a bunch of new Wet n Wild stuff. My son and husband went to Walmart to look for birthday presents for the girls and he found a ton of stuff for me as well. It was a little bit wild. Um, so one of the things that they saw on an end cap and I think I've, oh, here's the last piece that they found on an end cap that my son went absolutely bonkers for was from Wet n Wild and they did a Sesame Street collaboration uh so these are the two non-makeup items here we have the headband that is elmo's little face and then we have some brushes right here so we're going to be playing with those he did pick up a couple of makeup items as well i think he wanted to get the eyeshadow palette but it was like broken or something which i told my husband that was fine because that really wasn't something i was super interested in but he did pick up, oh, I lost the lip gloss, hold on. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. This is the lip gloss that just fell on the ground and it is the Counting Count, who honestly, I kinda like. Um, so this is a lip gloss in the shade, it's a 10 of 10, so that will be fun. I got this right here, this is the Face and Cheek Palette with Burton and Ernie on it, love that. So it has a couple of bronzing shades and a very golden highlighter. Hopefully this will work for my skin. I'm not 100% sure how that's gonna go, but we're gonna give it a try. What I have already been using is the setting spray, which has also got the counting count on it. Not that I think you can see that, there we go. Um, so we'll be using that as well. So that's everything that I have from Wet n Wild, but on that same shopping trip before they found the end cap, um, he also picked up a primer from e.l.f. Uh, he picked it up because it's orange and he loves orange, even though he tries to convince me that his favorite color is dark blue like his daddy's. Uh, everything that he gravitates towards is orange, so I think that's the real answer. Um, but this is the Good Vibes Only Soft Velvet Primer. Hopefully I like it. I haven't had the best of luck. So I tried one of their, um, I think it was one of their gripping primers and the texture on that is not for me. Um, so I'm hoping that that one is a little bit different. And I think that's all of the stuff that I've gotten as a gift, but we have a few other things that I've picked up myself. I have a ton of new eyeshadow palettes. I have... No idea where I put them, but I have all of the new ones from Odin's Eye, the collab that they did with um, Makeup Just for Fun with Lauren, May's, Lauren May Beauty and with um, Batty Bean, who is amazing. I love all three of those girls. Um, but also I picked up from Shroud their Moonfall palette, and this is what I'm going to be using today because I am so stinking excited about it. Ooh, look at that, look at that. Oh, this is the first thing that I've ever gotten from Shroud, so I am really excited to play with it. Um, what else have you guys not seen? Oh, I finally got my hands on one of the Rare Beauty powder highlighters, and you guys, I've had this sitting on my desk for weeks now, weeks. Um, and I haven't touched it because I wanted to do this with you guys and I didn't want to disturb its absolute pristine. Like how freaking beautiful is that? It is so, so stunning. It looks like a full moon. It's beautiful and shiny and I cannot wait to put it on my face even though it's going to disturb it and it's no longer going to be pristine. I don't care. I'm so excited for that. It has gotten such good hype. Oh, I have a new lipstick as well. 
that I picked up and a new mascara. So I picked up from Amicole their mascara. I've used this already and I really like it. I picked this up because of Khaki. So she's lovely. And then I was very curious about the LYS little skinny lipsticks. So I picked up one of these as well. I've also used this and quite like it. So we have basically a full face here and we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom us in and we'll get started. Okay, so let's start by addressing the silliness of this headband. It is very cute in the box, but on, I, I feel like it's weird. <laughs> I do, I feel like it's weird. I don't know. Um, so, I don't know that I'll use it on camera again. It fits well, so that's good, but... <laughs> All right, so let's start with the primer. Again, this is from e.l.f. This is the Good Vibes Only Soft Velvet Primer. The directions say to smooth it on and wait 30 seconds. So that is, oh, it's clear. All right. It's clear. Not what I was expecting when it said soft velvet. It's got a citrusy kind of smell but not like not like a necessarily overly pleasant almost like grapefruit maybe where it's got that kind of sourness but not like it's gone bad sourness interesting interesting not at all what I was expecting and I feel like more often than not when it comes to elf I have that feeling like it's just not what I expected it doesn't necessarily mean that it's good or bad it's just not what I was expecting. So we're going to give this a good 30 seconds. And the foundation that we'll be using today is from Revlon. I mentioned that I picked this up in my Makeup Rehab series. This is the Skin Caring Foundation. It has 5% squalene and hyaluronic acid. So I was very much hoping that this would be a dupe for the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I don't think it is, but I don't think it's bad either. So I'm going to start with one pump because it's got a lot of spread to it. So that is what it looks like. I picked up, I think I picked up the lightest shade. It's shade 105. And I'll go ahead and just dab that on. So my week has been so wild. Um... A lot has gone on. I had, unfortunately, sick children, which always makes for a wild ride. We had a stomach bug go through the house that ended up affecting my son, one of my daughters, and my husband. Luckily, <laughs> knock on any wood that I can find, um, it didn't seem to hit me or my other daughter, although I can't say that for sure. It might have affected my other daughter. She just didn't exhibit the same symptoms. Um, it's so hard to say with toddlers, but um, it was very apparent with my other two children because it was messy. We're gonna leave it at that because you guys don't want details, uh, but it meant that we stayed home a lot and we, um, did not get a lot of sleep, so that was incredibly fun. And I don't know if it's necessarily a good thing or a bad thing, but it came in like waves. So it hit my son first um, and lasted a couple of days. And then right on the tail end of him starting to feel a little bit better, it hit one of my daughters. Um, so I don't know when it comes to kids, like which is better for everyone to be sick at once and just like get it all out of the way or you know kind of staggering it a little bit because it's overwhelming as it is so it seems that everyone has rebounded thankfully um but in that time period we also had a lot of other things going on because my driver's license got suspended that is a true first for me. Uh, and the way that it happened was so bizarre. Um, I was 
sitting downstairs with my kids and trying to keep everybody nice and happy and calm because again, sick kids. And I passed our front door and we've got like a little side light. So it's got that like really skinny window next to the door. And there was a piece of paper that was taped to it. I was like, that's strange. I wonder if like we missed a package or something, which in and of itself doesn't make sense because obviously uh, everybody was home. My husband works from home. So I thought it was a little bit weird, but went to the door, opened up, pulled off the piece of paper. It was from a highway patrol officer letting me know that my driver's license was suspended for not having insurance. And I was like, what? I have insurance? I am a rule follower. Like that is one thing about me. I, I am a rule follower. I definitely had insurance. Um, so I was like, well, that's weird. So I called my insurance company and they're like, yeah, we don't know what they're talking about. I'm like, okay, cool. So I called the um, phone number that was on the citation or the, I don't even know if it's a citation, but on that little slip of paper, to find out kind of what was going on. And uh, unfortunately, the officer was not super helpful. Um, I'm definitely gonna give him a pass because I'm sure the vast majority of people that he interacts with after one of these things gets dropped off is less than pleasant. I was definitely trying to be very pleasant and just get to the bottom of it. But he was like, you're just gonna have to take it up to the DMV and get it sorted out. I'm like, okay, thank you. So, the only other piece of information that was on there was the license plate, or what we figured out later was the license plate, because it didn't actually like say that. It was just like a jumble of letters and numbers, which was very confusing. Um, so, figured out what it was eventually, and it was the license plate from the vehicle that I owned before I bought my minivan back at the beginning of January. I was like, well, that's strange. We sold that vehicle. We sold it right after we bought the minivan um, back to CarMax because that's where we had originally purchased it. They just make it the easiest when you sell stuff. So we had gone to them. I assumed they had the license plate. So I didn't really understand what was going on. All right, we're going to break into this. I am going to use one of the brushes from the set. And I think we're going to go in with the lighter shade and see how that goes. So come to find out, no. Uh, the license plate had been in my husband's car the whole time. Apparently we were supposed to return it to the DMV and had no idea. And it's strange because this is not the first vehicle that I've purchased as an adult, you know. we, In fact, the last vehicle that I purchased was from CarMax and we traded in one vehicle for the other. And I, I know for a fact that we didn't take the license plate anywhere. I assumed that they all went together, that the license plate stayed with the vehicle and that the buyer like took care of all that, you know, nonsense. Well, not nonsense, but all of that technicalities, I suppose. Um, okay, so it's looking actually not bad. It's definitely not orange, which was my concern. And it is light enough, but it's almost pulling like a blushy undertone, which I don't mind at all. So let's take a very light hand and go in with some of the darker one and see how that looks, kind of mix it together. So, uh, long story short, I'm like, okay, well, we're going to, I'm going to have to take this up to the DMV and give it to them. Um, it looks a lot harsher on camera than it does in real life, which is strange to me. But so I was like, okay, I'm going to have to take it up to the DMV, give it back to them, figure out what I need to do to get my driver's license reinstated because that's not okay. So I took it up, spent half the day waiting <laughs> at the DMV, which is always super fun. Although I have to say people watching at the DMV, it's a whole new level of life, my friends, a whole new level of life. Um, ooh, that was a little dark right there. We're gonna have to blendy blend that. So, spent a good three and a half hours <laughs> waiting there. Um, and 
I would have gotten there when it opened, except again, sick kids, so I couldn't get there right as it opened, which I think also led to why I was there for so long, but uh, luckily my husband was able to take the day off to hang out with our sick kiddos while I went to go do that. $400 later, I have a legal driver's license. Um, yeah, I, I told them that I sold the vehicle back in January, so that's why I dropped the insurance on it, because I don't own it, and uh, no reason to pay insurance. So they were like, well, you should have brought the license plate back. I'm like, okay, I apologize. We didn't know that. We thought that it went with the vehicle, blah, blah. And they're like, okay, $400. <laughs> Like, there was no argument at all, um, so that was fun. Um, I don't have a new blush, so I'm going in with this from Half Caked Beauty. This is their In Bloom blush in the shade Live on Sunday. I have this in a project currently. It's very pretty, uh, and I think it'll go with this blush really nicely. So that was, that was something I have never experienced something like that before. I'm very glad that I'm now a legal driver again um, because I do a lot of driving with the kids, but that was absolutely bonkers. So bonkers. So that was one day. Um, I, on a positive note, I bet y'all noticed I got my hair done. I had been, I've been wanting to get it colored for quite a while. And I just kind of spur of the moment called to see if they had any appointments um, for the week because, again, my husband had taken some time off so he could hang out with the kiddos. And they did that day. I was like, um, okay. <laughs> so I went in and um, we did a balayage and then toned it red. And I love it. I love it. I spent my 20s as a redhead and I genuinely feel like I should have been born a redhead. All right, we're gonna go in with the Rare Beauty. This one is in the shade Exhilarate. <sighs> I'm so excited for this, okay. Everyone that I have seen use this, it is just stunning. Oh yes, oh yes, look at that. Oh, that is so stinking pretty. <laughs> oh my goodness. I tell you, I can only think of one thing from Rare Beauty that I've ever purchased that I haven't fallen head over heels in love with. And you know what? I know that a lot of people have said that highlighter is out. I don't care. I don't care. I love highlighter. I've always loved highlighter. Since I started using it, it has been one of my favorite things. And I'm so excited. Okay, but just a touch on my nose. Beautiful, wonderful, lovely. Mm, yes. Whew, I am so happy with that. Okay, let's go ahead and I'm going to do my brows and zoom in so we can do the eyes. And then I'll pick up where I left off because I'm not going to lie, I actually have forgotten because I am so enthralled with this highlighter. All right, I'll be right back. All right, brows are on and I have to call attention. I don't think I love the primer. I think it's the primer at least. Technically, it could be just the way it's interacting with this foundation, but I've worn this foundation before, but it is like sinking in like that is so pronounced not sure I'm a fan I'm gonna use it with some other stuff and see if it is or not but I'm not loving this situation it's making me look a lot older than I am and I'm not young to begin with <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and prime the lids um yeah so as I said I did get my hair done, thankfully. Um, I, like I said, I feel like I should have been born a redhead. I spent most of my 20s coloring my hair red and I absolutely loved it. And it wasn't until kind of my early 30s that 
I started just kind of doing something else only because I am fickle in nature and um, wanted to do something different. So I dyed it a super, super, super dark brown, like almost black. And I liked it, but I got tired of that real fast. Um, but I discovered that once I had gone that dark, trying to get it lightened up myself wasn't going to happen. So I've been letting it kind of do its own thing for a while. I got some highlights for a while and that was fine, but I kept trying to get it back to being red and I just couldn't do it myself. So um, I did my first balayage back in, what was that? August maybe? And she toned it to be a little bit red at that time and I liked it. So when I went back way too late because I could never seem to get anything done on time, uh, I told her that, you know, I wanted to kind of step it up a little bit and she definitely delivered. I'm very happy with it. I do think that I'm going to try to go back in a couple of months and maybe this time do highlights because I, I want to bring it up towards the top some more. So I'm very, very happy to feel like I'm back in my old skin and I like it. So that was definitely a plus. What wasn't a plus uh, is that my brand new van that I said that I got had a safety recall. Okay, we're gonna go into this palette right here. I'm gonna, th I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this shade Primordial and I'm gonna put that through the crease, deepen it up with Folklore and then maybe Rebirth a little bit if I need it, but the shade that I'm really drawn towards is this one right here called Night Song. I don't know what it is, but it is calling to me and then maybe a little bit of Devotion. I'm thinking that's the plan. I'm thinking that's the plan. So yes, my brand new vehicle, uh, a very expensive vehicle, I'm not like, trying to boast or anything like that, but minivans are wildly expensive, uh, which was a surprise to me. Um, needed a safety recall because apparently they were having some reports of the engine randomly shutting off. That's what you wanna hear when, you know, driving a vehicle that it can just randomly shut off, especially, you know, when you're transporting three little babies on a daily basis. Um, so thankfully we were able to get that scheduled and get that taken in. My husband took the lead on that because uh, we had the choice of either him taking it in or trying to, you know, take all of our sick children up to the dealership. <laughs> So he opted to go to the dealership so that I could stay home with the sick kids. I think I actually got the better end of that, to be honest with you, but what can I say? So that apparently um, got fixed. And the weirdest part about it is that apparently it was just like a software update. Like how uncomfortable is that? That vehicles are so sophisticated these days that your vehicle could, you know, A, randomly just shut off, but that you can also just repair it with an update? Like, what? <laughs> I don't know. That is really, really uncomfortable for me. I don't know. Maybe I'm in the minority there, but that was a surprise for sure. <laughs> uh, but that's taken care of, so my vehicle apparently will no longer randomly lose power. Um, and then I think probably the best part of this past week. Now, when I'm saying week, I'm also including last weekend in it. Um, just because I don't know, that's when everything really seemed to start. Um, but my girls turned three yesterday. Oh, that gives me chills. That gives me chills to say like, oh, they're growing up so fast. They're growing up so fast. So they turned it three yesterday and it was such a good day. It was such a good day. The weather uh, was nice, which is good because today the weather is not very nice. Um, so that was really good. So got to play outside a little bit and then we baked a cake and it 
is frustrating. Okay, this is this is a silly thing, but um, I every year since my son was born, basically, I have always baked cakes from scratch. I mean, even before my son was born, like I've always been an avid cook, an avid baker, all of that. Love it. And for all of his birthdays and the girls' birthdays up until this point, I would find a recipe. I would, you know, ask them kind of what they wanted find them a recipe and I would make it from scratch and wouldn't you know it they never touched it they would not eat it all three of my kids when you try to do like the year old smash cake or whatever wanted no part of it my son's last birthday when he turned five wanted no part of his cake like it just made me feel really sad in a very selfish sort of way um, because, you know, I put a lot of effort into it. I always wanted to be that mom that, you know, made all of this like amazing stuff. And, you know, I just had a really unrealistic <laughs> viewpoint of what I would be as a mother. So this year I said, you know what? It's just not worth the time and energy that I've put in it in the past to get you know, to make a cake that no one's gonna eat. So I did a box cake. I did just a white cake and then I sectioned off a few um, into a bowl and colored it pink and purple and then like swirled it all together. So it was like white, pink and purple. And then I used um, a frosting that had purple and pink um, little sprinkles with unicorn sprinkles in them too and just did it that way devoured absolutely devoured in fact I gave my husband his piece and like he took one bite and he goes oh my god this is so good my kid my son the whole time mommy this is the best cake I've ever had I'm doing box cakes for the rest of their lives maybe not the rest of their lives but at least the rest of their childhood because what? I put in so much time and energy into those other cakes and nobody ate them. Well, I mean, my husband ate them, but my kids didn't touch them. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> uh, but the birthday was good. Like, I'm being super dramatic right now, but the birthday was so good. Uh, my son had his last swimming lesson, which he passed, so he could move on to level two. If I can get off the wait list for that, that would be wonderful. Um, so that part was good. We played outside in the nice weather. And then for dinner, we went to their favorite restaurant, the Sweet Roll restaurant, which for those of you not in the know is Texas Roadhouse. <laughs> those kids can put away rolls like nobody's business. I always have to warn the server ahead of time. I'm like, look, my kids are gonna just like go to town so if you could help us out by making sure that we have a ton of rolls that would be wonderful because it makes my job a lot easier to be honest with you but um i mean they house them absolutely house them so we went to dinner super early so that went really well and came back and sang to them and had cake and ice cream and it was just such a good day and their grand and granddaddy called and wished them a happy birthday and got to talk to them on the phone. And we opened presents. And let me tell you, I, I mentioned earlier that my husband and son had gone to Walmart to go buy them some presents. And they did such a good job. Oh my goodness gracious. So, um, of course, being toddlers, they are massively into Cocoa Melon. And one of my daughters specifically will watch on like YouTube kids boo boo songs over and over and over again. Like that has been the thing that she has been so super into recently is anything with a boo boo song. And wouldn't you know, they have a boo boo song JJ that um, my husband and son found for her. And then they're also super into Bluey. I am super into Bluey, <laughs> so I'm very glad that they are too. Uh, Bluey, for any of you that doesn't have kids, uh, is just the sweetest show out of Australia, and uh, it's got me very obsessed with Brisbane and really wanting to visit uh, until I remember they have massive spiders and then I'm terrified again. But no, um, so they got 
the, my other daughter, they got her a bluey doll that like sings and stuff. And then my son found these little like plush ice cream cones because all of my kids are obsessed with the um, ice cream station that we got them for Christmas. So they loved that. But honestly, I think the things that they liked the best were what their grand and granddaddy sent. Hold on, I need to find a smaller mirror. Um, so for some reason, my girls are all about backpacks. They have backpacks for um, the half day school that they go to twice a week that are more like real backpacks, but they're obsessed with backpacks. And so somehow my in-laws found them these adorable tiny little backpacks that have little like stuffed animals that come with them and my girls are obsessed. They have almost not taken them off since they opened them. Like they did so good on their presents this year. Like they were perfect and I am so grateful and so thankful to have people in their lives that, you know, care so much about them. It just, it makes my sweet little heart so happy. What is also making my sweet little heart happy is how well those mats went down. That is really, really pretty. I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to go in with Rebirth, which is, I don't think it's actually black. I think it's like an extremely inky, bluey, purple kind of color, but I think so far we're doing okay. I'm going to take a little bit of glitter glue and put it on my packing brush and go in with Night Song and see how that goes. But so far, you guys, I am just loving this so, so much. So they had a wonderful birthday. They had pancakes this morning because we were unprepared for pancakes yesterday. And one of my daughters, that was like all she wanted was pancakes. And so um, we had a couple leftover in the refrigerator from last weekend because my husband um, will often do pancakes on Sundays. And so that's why we were just not super prepared to have pancakes on Saturday because it just didn't occur to us. Oh my gosh, look at the shift on that. Oh, that is so stinking pretty. Oh, it shifts to blue and purple. That is really nice. Oh, I'm liking that a lot. Um, so we made, he made a whole slew of pancakes this morning and my kids absolutely gorged themselves and then requested cake. I was like, no, we're not having cake for breakfast. Um, so they countered with ice cream. I was like, no, <laughs> you know, that, that's, that's not what we're doing. But they had such a lovely birthday and it was just so nice. I'm so thankful for that. Did y'all hear that thunder? Definitely glad that the weather waited until today and didn't rear its head as much yesterday it rained in the morning but it didn't storm like it is now so i'm very happy for that but it does make for some cooped up kids that's for sure oh i cannot get over how pretty that is okay let me wipe away a little bit of this because i tend to get a little messy sometimes okay and then before i go on to the other eye no i'm gonna do the other eye because this is really pigmented and I wanna make sure that the other shade Devotion has room to shine. But I think I'm gonna take a different brush for it. All right. So that's been my wild week. I um, only wore makeup four times and that includes last weekend. Like that for me is almost nothing. I am someone who typically wears makeup every single day because I just genuinely enjoy it so much. And it's, it's me time to be perfectly honest with you, especially during the week. I wake up at somewhere between five and 5.30, depending on, you know, when I got to sleep the night before. Um, and then that's time for me in the morning. Have a cup of coffee, do my makeup, get some stuff done before we start getting the kids up around 6.45, 7 o'clock, depending on what's going on for the day. So I only wore makeup in a 10-day time period. I only wore it four times. That's insane for me. But... I'm glad that the week's over and I'm hoping that it's going to kind of level out a little bit. This is so pretty. I cannot get over how pretty this is. Okay, let me grab a different brush. 
for the inner portion. I think that's too rough. We'll go with this one right here from Suva Beauty. I'm gonna apply just a little bit more of the glitter primer. And we're gonna go in with Devotion. I am so blown away with this palette. Like I had every expectation that it was gonna be a nice palette because I've seen people, you know, talking about Shroud before. I've been wanting to get one of the collabs that they did with um, Batty Bean. Why couldn't I think of her name? I could think of her real name, Betty Jean. Um, but I couldn't think of her channel name there for a minute. Um, her first collab with them is the one that I'm most attracted to. I don't know why I just have never picked it up. But when I saw pictures of this Moonfall palette, I was immediately drawn to it. The greens, of course, are the ones that I'm always drawn to the most, which is why it's so surprising to me that I wanted to go in with the blues and purples first. But I'm so happy. I am so happy. That is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Drag just a little bit into the inner corner. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yes. Okay, <laughs> I'll finish up. Sorry. I'm just gushing over here. Um, but yeah, hopefully next week, um, or this coming week rather, since today is Sunday, um, I'll be able to kind of get back into my normal groove of things. Hopefully things will kind of calm down a little bit because I, I miss doing my makeup, but also like I try to post a lot of the things that I am doing on my Instagram and I didn't post at all last week except for my hair, but um, very much hoping to kind of get back into the swing of things because I miss interacting with you guys. I miss talking to y'all. I miss, you know, hanging out and both YouTube and Instagram are kind of a way for me to do that and I miss it. So hopefully things kind of get back to normal. Oh my God, you guys. Okay, I said I would be done. <laughs> I said I would be done. Okay, let me go ahead and pop on the mascara. Like I said, I have used this already. This is from Amicole. This is their Lash Amplifying Mascara and I have been really impressed with this. It's not like the most dramatic mascara out there, so I'm probably gonna have to layer up a little bit, but it stays put really well. I don't have, I haven't had to worry about it trans transferring, but this wand is for me perfection. It is nice and small. The bristles are rather short, so I don't stab myself. It's a natural bristle. And I have been so happy with it. Like I said, it gives really, really nice results. And I like that it's not like crazy dramatic from the jump because on me at least, or at least in my experience so far, it doesn't get super clumpy and I can layer it up so I can use it in a lot of different ways. So on days when I'm not going full, <laughs> full on like I am right now, um, you know, I can still use it without having any worries, but on other days like this one, I can really build it up and get my eyelashes looking great. But I've been really, really happy with this. And as far as like mascaras from Sephora go, it's really on the lower price point side. And it is getting to the point where it's actually rivaling in price with drugstore mascaras because everything at the drugstore is getting so just blown up. It's crazy. But look, that's just one application and I really like it. So rather than make you guys sit and watch me apply mascara, I'm gonna go ahead and jump off and then we'll come back and we'll look at the lips. All right, so the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna apply some lipstick. This is from LYS. This is their Speak Love Moisture Matte Lipstick. I picked mine up in the shade Desired, and I have used this quite a few times, and I'm really a fan. So it is one of those like really slim bullets. 
and the shade is really, really pretty, really, really pretty. So and it goes so well with this look. I love these really slim bullets because it makes it so easy to get it in the exact shape and um, saturation that you want. And this is just so nice. It feels really comfortable. It is definitely a matte lipstick. The first time I wore it, I didn't love it over the course of time because I did feel like it was a bit drying. But once I started prepping my lips, making sure to put on a lip mask or something, a good, I don't know, 10 minutes before applying this lipstick and then just blotting it off, applying the lipstick over the top of whatever was left over after the blot, perfect. Wears all day really nicely. I mean, as much as a lipstick does, obviously, um, but it wears really, really nicely. It's very comfortable and it's really pretty. It's not transfer proof. It doesn't claim to be, but I'm really happy with it. Um, I have strongly, of course, considered buying more shades. I'm not going to anytime soon because I'm working very hard to keep my lip purchases down this year but it's really pretty and I do definitely recommend it uh, especially with the Sephora sale coming up pretty soon let me know are you guys interested in hearing what I am thinking about purchasing or what's on my wish list or anything like that for the Sephora sale I've been really really restrained this year which is good I didn't buy any makeup from the 21 days of beauty which I think is actually still going on I purchased one skincare um or technically two skincare items on either the first or second day but that has really been it i've been really really good so far this year but i have a feeling i'm going to be picking a few things up from the sephora sale so let me know if that is something that you would be interested in or hearing my recommendations or anything like that let me know in the comments below but this here is the final look and i am mostly happy with the things that I used. Like I said, um, I'm not necessarily loving, no, this isn't what I meant to pick up. Uh, <laughs> I'm not necessarily loving the primer. Again, I'm not 100% sure that it is the primer. Perhaps it's the primer in combination with the foundation. Like I said, I have worn this foundation over the past month or so, and it's fine. Like it's not my favorite by any means, but it's not bad either. And and I've noticed that while a lot of things do tend to settle in my smile lines, this is settling really hard, really quickly. So I don't know, I may have to play around with a little bit more, but um, this is a fine drugstore foundation. I think there are better foundations out there from the drugstore. Um, and again, drugstore has just gotten so expensive. That was like $13 maybe, I can't fully remember, um, but it was definitely a little bit more expensive than what I, think it's really worth. Um, as far as the other items that I use, I actually kind of like this guy. Again, this is my first time using it, so it is just a first impression. I am going to play around with it a little bit more. You guys know that I am panning a uh, bronzer and a highlighter currently, so I'm going to have to work it in there, but um, it didn't come across patchy. I think that the two blended really well together. Everything seems to be sitting nicely. So happy about that. Obviously, I'm really happy with that first impression. I know, but it's just so lovely. Oh, it's just so lovely. <laughs> I know, I'm gushing. I can't help it. Um, but ooh, the eyes, the eyes, the eyes, the eyes are definitely my favorite part. And I cannot wait to play with this eyeshadow palette more. Um, and I'm really happy. Lipstick, as I said, I've been using it for a while and I like it. The mascara, I've been using for a while and I like it. So we've got kind of a mix of first impressions. Uh, there are a couple items that I talked about and didn't use. Um, I don't think I'm going to put on the 
lip gloss just because I really like the way the lipstick is looking um, and that's fine and I totally forgot to use this spray with you guys on camera but as I said I have been using it and I do quite like it um, it doesn't have a ton of scent to it which is nice because sometimes you know when things are heavily scented it's either you like it or you don't so this has a very mild kind of clean scent to it which I like and it does a nice job of kind of melding all of my makeup together I don't know why I'm showing you because I didn't use it today um, but I have been liking this I don't know um, how much it adds to the longevity of my makeup I'm always a little bit hesitant when things are marketed as prime and set and fix um, this is the five in one count on me spray and it says that it is a prime and set mist um, yeah, I don't know. I, I find that things like the All Nighter and the one from Charlotte Tilbury definitely add to the longevity of my makeup. However, I'm also not somebody who needs a lot of longevity either. I'm not, you know, someone that's super hard on my makeup and I have balanced to dry skin, so I don't usually have a big problem with my makeup breaking down on me throughout the day. So, I can't really comment on the longevity or the prolonging aspect of it, but as far as like um, a makeup fixing spray, which is what I use things for, I like it just fine and I will have no problem using it up. I think I mentioned everything. If you have any questions about anything, please make sure to ask them down in the comments below or just say hi. I love chatting with you guys. And if you've enjoyed this video, I hope that you'll give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing before you leave. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I hope that you're having an amazing day and I will see you next time. Bye.